Hey everyone, so today's video is about four things that you should keep in mind before starting a PhD. And uh, I think these are very relevant points because a PhD is a long time commitment. And um, what you need to keep in mind is that you enjoy the journey and it's not just about the end result because even if you finish your PhD in three years or four years, it's not a matter of time, it's a matter of um, what you learn during your PhD, right? So point number one that I want to tell you and uh, these points are based on priority. So uh, point number one is the most important point that you should not negotiate um, about and this is something that has to be kept in mind and um, this point is literally non-negotiable at least in my uh, decision making I made sure that this point was non-negotiable so it is that you should choose a supervisor a PhD advisor who's kind and who's supportive because for four years or for you know for the duration of your PhD you will be learning from them they will be mentoring you and at the same time they will be um, the ones who with whom you will have a interaction at a daily basis on a weekly basis and if they are supportive to you and if they want uh, to enhance you if they want to empower you then uh, it's the best decision uh, you know to su choose a supportive and a kind supervisor because uh, the kind supervisor is somebody who can understand you um, as a person and not just as an employee and this is such an important aspect uh, concerning the growth of a person because uh, we only grow in spaces when we feel loved because if there's a place of hatred if there's a place of fear then the growth is uh, inhibited somehow Point number two is that you should have a topic of interest. So uh, don't just uh, finalize on a PhD position just because uh, you get into the project or the university accepts you. So it is very important to have a topic of interest that um, motivates you. So it should be in such a manner that each morning you get up and you have this feeling that you want to go to work and uh, you want to do the project, you want to proceed further and want to see what your project is like what it is um, bringing to the world what is how it is contributing to the society so always uh, have a topic of interest that uh, drives you that motivates you uh, at a daily basis because during your PhD you'll have times of high and low and uh, if you are not completely interested in the topic of your PhD then you will often have those times of low than the times of high and um, you know I have come to realize that uh, um, if, if you are passionate about the topic then the work does not seem like work and congratulations if you have that feeling because then you have entered into the field of science because it should not be felt as a burden at all so um, often when I talk to my uh, friends they say wow four years that's a long time but in my opinion four years for a PhD is well it's pretty good time but uh, if you want to do a lot uh, and uh, the field of research has no ending. So if you're somebody who really likes um, working, who likes to uh, explore more options, who wants to go um, deep into the topic, uh, this is uh, something that's meant for you. Point number three is that often we don't uh, take care of the graduate program that we are uh, enrolling into because as a PhD most of the times you have to enroll into a graduate program and the graduate program by itself has its own requirements. So make sure that you check the requirements of the graduate program. Do they need certain language uh, prerequisites? Especially if you're applying to colleges in Europe, you would need that. Um, <clears throat> Also, then the graduate programs requires you to do some teaching assistantship. They also require you to complete certain ECTS to certain courses, which are not that hard. And uh, I will tell you with my experiences that I have 10 ECTS already and I need 12 for uh, overall four years. So it's quite manageable. Uh, just depends on how you prioritize and, um, and also how you plan. So, and at the same time, obviously execution is the matter. Uh, but at least you think about it uh, well before starting your PhD and that's a good thing because sometimes I've seen certain people leaving their PhD just because uh, they felt that the graduate program was way too demanding 
and that could be a, a possible factor because before we begin uh, our PhD we don't check that we just check our supervisor we check about uh, the topic that we'll be working on but then 20% of your PhD 20% of the time of your PhD uh, is been taken by other activities like you know presenting at the conferences uh, preparing for journal clubs uh, presenting in the conferences in terms of posters or in terms of uh, short talks um, also entering into certain competitions then doing the teaching part of it and then also going and attending courses so there's quite a bit that goes on in a PhD don't be scared um, just be enthusiastic about learning and you will get through it and point number four is that this is one of the most important points, I would say. Um, obviously, in the priority list, this comes forth for me, uh, but you can re rearrange it for yourself as well. Uh, point number four is that you should make sure that the country that you want to go to, or if you're planning to do it in your own home country, uh, maybe if you're shifting to another city, make sure that you like the city, uh, because ultimately, you will be spending a lot of time in the laboratory, uh, but at the same time, we are human beings and we crave for connections. So try to go to certain places where you enjoy. So if you're a person who likes winter, then go to countries where they have um, a lot of months of winter. And if you're somebody who enjoys more of summer, then look for universities. Um, where where you can you know have more sunny days than rainy days so uh, it's it's all about um, your preferences as a person so in all what i have realized uh, during my phd is that a phd also teaches you to know your own self because once you know yourself better then you'll be able to take decisions better for yourself so that's quite about it and at the end of it remember that you are doing a PhD to become a better scientist but at the end of the day it's also such that you become a better human being and that is something that should be kept in mind all through the while and the learning should never stop so keep learning uh, stay motivated and I see you in another video that's it for now and if you have any questions write them down in the comment section below I'll try to answer them as soon as possible my schedule is pretty busy I'm into multiple things uh, but I know I will will have time for you guys so thank you for so much love I am genuinely uh, grateful for um, the response that I'm getting at this channel and for so much love because when I started this channel I just wanted to help people and wanted to share my journey and it's going actually pretty well so I'm glad uh, for the upcoming uh, time and looking forward to uh, have more uh, videos coming up and to probably have some live sessions coming up so any suggestions are open and uh, let's see what to do next see you soon